Buckle up ladies and gentlemen, because I'm going to be giving you 10 photo manipulation tips in just 2 minutes. <laughs> Your final photo manipulation will only be as good as the stocks you use. Wherever possible, use high resolution studio shot assets. For this piece, I used a bleach character from Neostock Cyber Dystopia collection. The camera raw plugin is a fast and effective way to edit a layer's pixel data using a single dashboard. Outside of the basic adjustments, there's also a ton of really useful advanced tools including noise reduction, clarity and grain. The word compositing means to cut out. The pen tool is by far the cleanest and most effective method for compositing solid elements in Photoshop, but the tool itself can be a tricky one to learn. Once mastered however, nothing beats the pen tool. The refine edge tool is brilliant for compositing hair and soft elements, but Photoshop removed the tool from the menus in 2015. You can still access refine edge however, all you have to do is hold down shift while clicking select and mask. Applying a simple blur to your background creates a depth of field illusion and also makes it easier for the viewer's eye to lock onto the foreground element, in this case our model. An incredibly simple technique for increasing the impact of your work. You can use Photoshop hairbrushes to create or replace any strands lost through compositing techniques. It's always very handy to have, you can download a ton of these brushes for free on DeviantArt and many other design blogs and websites. Non-destructive editing means you're not making permanent changes to the pixel data. Adjustment layers allows you to edit your work non-destructively, with added benefit of allowing you to change the settings at any time. Very useful. Background elements in the distance should have a lower contrast and saturation. This achieves two things. Simulates depth of field and makes your focal element more impactful. Not just pleasing on the eye, but a greater sense of realism too. You can achieve a cinematic finish by changing the colour values of the blacks in your scene. The selective colour adjustment layer is a fast and effective way to add a touch of cyan, magenta or yellow to your blacks. It's an oldie, but a classic. You can knock out the blacks from any layer by setting the blend mode to screen. This works great for lens flares, fire, smoke or dust. You can make the blacks darker at any time by applying a levels adjustment directly to the layer. Want to take your photo manipulation work even further? Be sure to check out my videos on depth of field and light leaks on the end cards. I'm Clinton Loftars, thanks for tuning in to photomanipulation.com and I'll catch you on the next video.